How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about defining your own methods or functions on enum types in Rust. So this allows you to basically just move some of your logic from your main functions into the enum type itself. So it makes your code look a lot cleaner and obviously it you know makes things less confusing. Let's get started by defining an enum to actually work with. We'll use the typical day enum. So up here we'll type out enum day and have obviously the seven days of the week. So we'll say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and finally Saturday and Sunday. So here we're going to define a function on this enum to check whether or not the current day in context is a weekday or a weekend. So we can start uh, doing this by down here. We can say IMPL, so implement day. Now everything inside these blocks is going to be a function for the day enum. So let's make a new function called is weekday. Type out fn is underscore weekday. Passing in or you know accepting the usual self uh, parameter. And this will return a boolean true or false, depending on if the day is a weekday or a weekend. Okay, so to check this, you know, to um, to compare these values, we'll use the simple match operator to uh, to do that. So we'll type out match, and then we'll match on self, right? Now we're going to check if the day in context is a Saturday or a Sunday. If that is true, then we return false. Otherwise, we'll return true. So, let's say if the day in context is a Saturday or it is a Sunday, then we want to, oh, day, so day Sunday, then we'll return false because Saturday and Sunday obviously isn't a weekday, so we'll return false. Now, here we're using a reference to an enum. That's just to match the actual parameter itself, so we get no compiler errors. Okay, so if the day is a Saturday or Sunday, we're going to return false. It's not a weekday. Otherwise, in all other cases, we'll simply just return true. All right, so that is now the, the method defined on the day enum. Now, I'm going to just uh, put an attribute up here just to ignore all dead code. So I'm going to type out hashtag exclamation mark allow and then pass in dead code and this would just remove any compile warnings because we're not going to be using Monday and all the days so the compiler would just say you know you're not using Monday Tuesday Wednesday so but that's fine okay so down here we can start or we can continue by making a new day enum so let's say let's d equals day and we'll choose for example let's just say Tuesday as our day now using a print line statement we'll make use of this of this method to find out if this day is a weekday or not so we'll say print line is D a weekday I don't know is it we'll find out we'll, do, we'll um we'll go D dot is weekday all right, and that'll give us true or false, and that's gonna go right there. Let's just save this and uh, run this program. Cargo run, press enter, let's see how we go. Okay, alrighty, what's going on here? Ah, okay, so we need to use actually one uh, pipe here. Okay, so Saturday or Sunday with one, one pipe. We'll try again. Cargo run. And we get, is D a weekday? True. Let's now make this uh, Saturday, just for the sake of example. Save this, run it one more time. This time, what do we get? We get false. And that is how you can define your own methods or functions on enum types in Rust. So as I said, it's useful to move some of your logic from the actual main function or your other functions into the actual enum itself. So instead, you know, here you'd have to type in, you know, 
if D is a week is um is, is a Monday, Tuesday, etc. So you're moving all this stuff right here into the actual, you know, implementation itself. So it's much neater, much cleaner. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.